it is time for Empty Soul Girl on a swing. In this video, we're gonna unbox this prop. We're gonna put it all together. We're gonna show you how it works, but we're also gonna customize it and give her a makeover to make her even scarier. That looks awesome though, look. Don't lie, if you saw this at night, you would turn and run the other way. <laughs> so Empty Soul Girl is actually one of Spirit's older props. She came out in 2017, and what's important to know, and I don't think we realized this when we first got it, is it's actually a static prop. So there's no animatronics or movement at all. If you want her to swing, you also have to pick up this optional swinging mechanism. So we're also gonna put this together and show you how it works, test it out. We've actually never used either of these things, so this will be a new experience for us. You can learn with us and make mistakes with us, <laughs> as usual. She is a life-size prop. I think it says she's 60 inches tall and she kind of reminds me of a mix between like the girl from the grudge and the girl from the ring Yeah, it's like that classic like creepy girl in a nightgown You know hair over the face kind of look which I think we can really push further. Yes. You know What do we got in there? We got a head How's it look? Not bad. She definitely looks like a young girl there. She does have very straight, luxurious hair. So she's got black eyes, she's got some black eyebrows, but there's otherwise no other paint on the face there. I think she looks pretty cool. Then we got, this is her dress, kind of a greenish tan color. It's got some frayed edges at the bottom. This is all coming out in one piece. <laughs> oh no. You got it? Oh no, they got it. Okay, okay. All right, what we got here? Oh, this is her shoulders. That's cool, you got the plastic over the metal frame there. Oh, this is interesting. So her hands are actually attached to this, the swing here. I thought you might be able to like move them up and down, but they are definitely attached. There we go. So on our haul video from Spirit, we talked about doing this and we got a bunch of comments from you guys that were like, hey, there's no instructions for empty soul girl in the box. Is that true? That is true. <laughs> there are no instructions here. And several people uh, recommended we find some YouTube videos, but we decided we're just gonna, we're gonna not do that. So we have no idea how this thing goes together. And there's not that many pieces, so can't be that hard. There's this, I don't know what this is. All right, I'm gonna guess this is a waist. I'm gonna say maybe knee or <laughs> hips, knees, I don't know. <laughs> but you know what? There's not that many pieces, but it's gonna be fine. Okay, okay. so the Look. swing has this hole. I'm guessing that, nope. No, this, oh. yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay. And then I think this goes here. Yeah, okay, so we're, we have it backwards at the moment. We'll turn her around here. Now someone else said in the comments that there was a hole in the back of the dress that you had to pull through a something or other. It should probably remember that. That person is screaming at their <laughs> computer right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. That's the hole. So there's a hole back here. For it to work, this has got to go through the hole. Oh. Take Pull this, this back one off. out. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we've bunched it up. The hole goes through here. Now you can put that back on. Uh-huh. Thank you, YouTube comments. There's no way we would have thought of that ahead of time. Okay. We have two loops. There's like two little pins here, and I'm assuming those go there. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they, they don't. This one. Yeah, they only fit in one. And this one, which I think is the waist, is gonna go here. Maybe the other way. Oh, okay. So there's two pins on the waist, and one's thicker than the other to show you which side it goes in. And that goes here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Awesome. <laughs> this. We have to take this thing back off. Do you think this goes this way? Yes. Yeah. Because it's kind of leaning. Okay. Forward? Probably this goes back on. Is that an arm? This is an arm. No, this is a leg. Oh, it's a leg. This is a leg. This is a knee right here. You know what we need to do? <laughs> we need to hang her up. What if we could put hooks in the ceiling? We could do that. Well, let's get her arms on first. Okay, do the arms first. Yeah. Um, so there's two hooks on the arm. Mm -hmm. and, and there's two hooks back here. Two little holes. So those just go right. Mm -hmm. There. Okay, so let's pull the dress up. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna have to take the arms back off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and do we like feed them through or something? Yeah. Okay, so taking the sleeve, feeding it through. There we go. Two pins on the head go in the pinholes. There we go. And there she is. Should we hang her up so we can put her legs on? So I'm putting some hooks in the ceiling to hang the swing from, and hopefully it'll hold. She's not very heavy, so I think it'll be fine. Here she comes. <laughs> Whee. She needs her legs now. She's, yeah. she's looking a little flat in here. So inside here, there are two hooks here and then two holes here. And then they just slide right in, I think. 
No. Are we, do we have the wrong one? Is this upside down? I don't know. Oh, you know what I bet you do? Take this thing off first. Then this goes back on. Are you sure about that? Nope. Wait, why does it seem like the waist loop doesn't even fit now? Unless this rod itself goes is here. backwards. If it goes the other way, hold on. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yes. We got our waist all backwards here. <laughs> We're gonna take the legs back off. Can we fix that without taking the whole thing apart? I think we can. <laughs> this, we put in the wrong way. I'm pretty sure it needs to come out now. You can do ah. it. Hey, there we go. All right, okay, so this is gonna go this way now. And this Turn that around. Turns around. Goes back in. I think this is right. The legs go back on. Ah! Okay. Legs on first. Then the waist. There we go. It worked? It worked. She's in. Well? There she is. Empty soul she girl. She's... She swings. She has no soul. This took us, what, 10 minutes to put together, maybe? Would have been a lot shorter if there was just like one page of directions, but yeah. not super hard to put together. One page of directions, come on guys. But overall, I think she looks pretty cool. I think from a distance, she'd look really creepy. She's definitely life-size and she's got the vacant soulless stare. What I'm most excited about though is what's next, because I think we can take this to a whole nother level. The first thing we're gonna do is try to bend the spine because I think that's gonna be the hardest part. So we need this bent backwards. So my plan here is to raise up one side like that and just screw it back in. So my plan here is to use some old washers. If you're like me, you probably have a pile of these around the house and I think they're gonna work just fine. There's probably more sophisticated ways to do this, but whatever. That is DIY. <laughs> this is the spine. I'm gonna try to put a curve into it. There are sophisticated ways to do this and I'm not gonna do any of them, I'm just gonna quick and dirty try to give it a bend. Be nice if I was strong enough to just... <laughs> okay, we have a C. <laughs> I ended up just kind of squishing the pipe and then bending it that way because you're not gonna see this. So that's gonna give us a nice bend in the spine. Okay, now the next thing we wanna do is I wanna go for more of like a, like a this type of thing. I want the arms to flare out a little bit. If we can get it to work, I want the ropes to come out a little too. This will be easier to adjust later once we get everything put together, but I think that's a pretty good start. If we're lucky, that was the hardest part of the whole thing. Okay, I'm building out her arms with pool noodles, but I need to cut a little wedge out so that it bends where her elbow's gonna be. How are you gonna get it over the arm? <laughs> Just slice it down the long ways? Guess so, because it's not gonna fit over these two little prongs here. Can slide that on there. Right, and I need to trim like right here. She has arms now. We did the same thing to the legs. It did have noodles on it before, but these are just a little bit bigger. Her head connects with these two little prongs, and if we want her to look more kind of down and forward, all we gotta do is bend them. Just be careful that you don't break them off because it'd be really hard to get them back on. So be gentle. You didn't break it, did you? Did you break it? <laughs> no, everything's fine. You broke it, didn't you? No, 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 don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't know how hair works. <laughs> Okay. How's that look? It looks great. See now. But still, okay. what did you do the next? Nothing. It's fine. <laughs> look. Okay. I'm a I'm a I'm a kid, right? I'm about this tall. She's looking right at me, and it's perfect. Her head's gonna fall off, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> You're wearing it. That is so good. I do I look it. like a old spooky grandma? <laughs> <laughs> so we got this at Goodwill, and it was only four dollars. Four dollars. <laughs> we checked online to buy one. It was thirty bucks. We got really lucky at Goodwill. Her anatomy is not right. Shoulders Her, are a bit high. Shoulders are high, so I'm gonna slice down here. Same thing on this arm. Basically just wanted to make sure that the gown worked before we go much further. What do you wanna do next? I think let's do the dress. Let's make it dirty and old and dirty and old. Before we dye it, I'm gonna cut it up a little bit, just give it some aging. I'm not gonna do too much cutting though. It's gonna cut the whole hem off the bottom? Yeah. What is that thing? This is a wire brush. If you look here, it's like snagging it and making it look really worn. 
Remember in The Haunting of Bly Manor, there was the lady who comes out of the lake? Yeah. And her dress is always like muddy and dirty. Like, so like this is real far, gross. <laughs> far too clean. Yeah. Like she just climbed out of the lake. It's like Samara from The Ring just climbed out of the well to swing in your front yard and scare all your kids. Dirty dress. Huh? Yeah. I think it worked well. And we even have some pre-aging uh, pre spots here going on, so. So that was just some acrylic paint and a bucket of water. Mix it around and let it dry. It basically just made it kind of gray. Awesome. Yeah. You could do the same thing with spray paint. Just kind of stand far back and like, you want it to be darkest along the bottom and then kind of fade it up. But this is cool because we can do it inside. I think this looks awesome. Yes, love it. Can you believe we found this at Goodwill for four bucks? <laughs> it's like, you don't always get that lucky, but. You know what I want to do is put her old dress underneath this one because it'll help bulk it up a little bit. Oh, that's a good idea. What did you do? You and this hair, man. That looks awesome, though. Look. <laughs> Doesn't that look cool? Watch. Don't lie. If you saw this at night, you're walking out, you're walking the dog at night, you saw this, you would turn and run the other way. <laughs> There's one more thing that we almost forgot about. Oh, yeah. The swinging mechanism. The swinging mechanism. Let's check this out. So not much in the box, pretty simple here. It looks like we've got like a motor and this has like your plug and switch and all that kind of stuff. And then there's two arms, which I'm assuming hook onto that. And it comes with an IR sensor, which is cool. There's also a plug in here for a step pad. Oh, a step pad. You know what there isn't though? Directions. Why is it so hard to put directions? There's three pieces. Yeah, but you know what? I'm not a smart man and I want directions. So, okay, well. You got this. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that these parts go together somehow. <laughs> these things probably go together somehow. <laughs> Does this face, okay, those face down. There right. we go. <laughs> the swinging mechanism. I guess we need batteries for this. What kind of batteries does it take? Double A, four of them. So off is Where's what I had it on. Okay. So when it's on off, it goes. Yeah, so off means on. <laughs> Okay, so on the back you have your batteries, you have your plug if you want to plug it into the wall instead. You have a, a step pad plug-in, and then you have an IR sensor plug, which is the one it comes with. This is your motion sensor. And then you have a switch here, and uh, when you set it to off, that means on. Because reasons. <laughs> Maybe they ran out of white letters and couldn't put one that says on. <laughs> okay, we're outside because there's nowhere in the shop that this swing thing would work, and we're gonna see if it See if we can get it to work here. Can you reach? Yes, just barely. <laughs> She's like six inches off the ground. Okay, well, we'll have to make her up, <laughs> make her higher. <laughs> Success. The neighborhood kids are gonna hate us. They are, oh, they already do, kind of. Well, they love us and hate us. You know how it is, fellow haunters. All right, success. Yes. Any final thoughts on Empty Soul Girl on a string? She definitely doesn't look as good in person as she does on the box. However, that's to be expected. But she's shaped really well. She's creepy. And once you get her swinging, she's awesome. I think to its credit, if you did nothing and just took it out of the box and put it outside on a swing, at night, it's gonna scare the crap out of people. But. It only took us a couple hours to do all that stuff we just did, and it looks, I think, way better. Good job. All right, on to the next prop. Until next time, stay wicked.